Hey, my name is Chris Camacho. I'm a fabricator here at Hollywood Hot Rods. Uh, today I'm working on this 1936 uh, Packard. Uh, we have a hand-shaped roof and I'm going to be welding the inside package tray to the structure. Today I will be using the Miller Synchrowave 210. Uh, I like using this welder because of its, uh, it's easy to set up. Um, it has enough power to use on the aluminum that I'm going to be doing today. Uh, we actually purchased the uh, wireless foot pedal with this welder, which is going to make it be, uh, it'll make it easy to use inside the vehicle. So today I'm going to be uh, welding the package tray to the roof structure. Uh, the roof structure is uh, 1 8 inch aluminum and the package tray itself is about 16 gauge aluminum, uh, about 1 16. Um, I'm welding at 150 amps, uh, that seems to work for me. Uh, there's other ways you could do this, but uh, that's the best uh, uh, setting for me at the moment. Um, I'm going to be just doing stitch welds, uh, several stitch welds just to keep it structurally sound and uh, there's no need to do a complete weld on it. Plus it keeps the heat down um, so the outer skin does not uh, warp and move around too much. So I finished welding this, uh, the package tray to the structure up. Uh, the welds are mainly there just to attach the uh, package tray to the structure. We could grind them down, but they would be, uh, they will be hidden with the uh, headliner and upholstery, so you'll never see these welds. They're just mainly there to hold uh, the two pieces I need together. So again, I use the Miller Synchrowave 210. Uh, for more information on the shop, uh, visit hollywoodhotrods.com. Uh, for more information about the welders, uh, you can visit uh, millerwelds.com.